big insurance companies and big pharmaceutical companies who've been profiting off the backs of sick people. Let, let, me, let, me, let me tell you something. And I know I'm in a minority, so be it. Big Pharma has saved the lives of millions and millions of people in this country and all over the world. When you hear that you or a member of your family has cancer, or severe diabetes, or a terrible liver condition, or whatever it is, <clears throat> excuse me, you damn well hope that somebody's been inventing something, a pill, an infusion, something that can help stem the disease or the illness, that can help give life or improve the quality of life. You're not going to get it from her. You're not going to get it from politicians. So I'm, I'm going to speak up and say I'm sick and tired of the attacks on drug companies. What do you think of that? Some of these drugs cost billions and billions of dollars to develop. Some of them take 20 years to develop. You think they just pick them off of trees? It's very complicated and difficult. They hire scores of scientists to try and figure out how to deal with these complicated, difficult diseases. They pour all kinds of capital into it. And the vast majority of the times, they come up empty. They've been working on dementia and Alzheimer's. Read about it. For years and years and years, spending fortunes, coming up against one brick wall after another. Well, they have to earn that capital back, that R&D back over time. And that's how the market works. Big pharma, big pharma. Let me tell you, when somebody has cancer like my parents did, you're not sitting there talking about big pharma. You're saying, what, what, is, what can you do? What's available? How can I help? The other thing they don't tell you during these debates is that every major drug company has poverty programs. If you can actually demonstrate that you cannot afford the drug, they give them to you for free. Every one of them have a process. So in the aggregate, I have looked into this. In the aggregate, they give away billions of dollars in prescription drugs every year. Not because they're a charity. It doesn't matter to me why they do it. But if you're truly a poverty case, as opposed to saying, you know, that's very expensive. You know, and we were going to buy a new car, take a vacation, and, and now I've got to pay for this medicine. You won't get free drugs doing that. But if you say, look, you know, I got a mortgage to pay. I got mouths to feed. You know, I have a modest income. I can't afford a drug that costs $5,000 a month. You fill out the paperwork with your doctor, and you'll get that drug for free. People don't even talk about this. Again, I'm not a special pleader for anybody, but I, I've got to stand up when I hear this, these political hacks. For more, sign up for Levin TV.